We've just learned that they've laid off a bunch of production staff and they're going to be changing production to Taiwan. How's it going y'all? Welcome to my channel. I've kind of been following this Moog developing story. You know, I've always enjoyed talking about Moog, you know, sharing latest news with products and even insider stuff of what's going on with the company. You know, it's, it's a company I been proud to support and one that I've also worked with where I have shared products and they've worked with me to share with some of those products with you guys and that's been pretty cool but unfortunately any company is susceptible to any sort of internal external change you know we started to see last year there was you know a bunch of the employees you know unionized and there was some drama with that I'll leave a link uh, to that video and you guys if, if you missed that you can kind of check that out as far as I was aware That's kind of when I started seeing the domino pieces Slowly falling, but I'm sure there was things going on prior to that and then you know a couple months ago We learned that in music had acquired Moog music and <laughs> I tried to be optimistic about this. I really did and I still want to be optimistic about this, but it's really, really getting hard to be optimistic about this because right now we just learned from a local news source in Asheville, North Carolina, that is where the Moog headquarters is. That's where they the, the production line was at. And we've just learned that they've laid off a bunch of production staff they had really upped you know trying to fix and improve employee relations and it's really hard to see the positive side of that when you hear that they're laying off a bunch of staff that are production line mainly and they're going to be changing production to taiwan as far as i'm aware that's what one source says that's insane you know to see a company go from employee owned made stuff all made in-house most of it you know from the usa i understand you know some internal aspects were not it was a cool thing a thing to really be proud of you know and, and a huge legacy you know with synthesizer history and then to see it kind of just starting to crash and burn you know and i really want to see positive things happen with in music you know even in throughout my career i've i've noticed a lot of companies to cut costs you know they will start outsourcing or changing where you're doing production to cheaper manufacturing so what are we going to see from that you know i think there's going to be an expectation from people now that the product prices are going to go down if they don't i think a lot of us are going to be confused and pissed off this is affecting people's lives and it always felt good to support a company like that too where you know you're it's going directly to the individuals i want to see positive things come from this are they going to make more affordable gear now or are we just going to start seeing really cheap products now um i i know for sure that people that own mo gear and have purchased mo gear now in the past their stuff is going to become relics you know wow it was made in and assembled in the usa you got one of those original ones because i could see them you know manufacturing some of the same stuff that they've been manufacturing right it's gonna start have have a different label on the back you know or where it was sourced from and so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out i'm curious what you guys think about all of this let me know in the comments below and again check out those videos i was talking about if you need to catch up with what's been going on sad sad day anyways thanks for watching y'all we'll catch you next time peace